parents. This is why we're here. We turn to the screaming. I said to the other I, I firmly believe a lot of the parents don't actually, when they yell and scream, don't probably don't know how bad they look. Now, when you watch that video, if you're a yell and screamer, maybe ask yourself a question does he look good or does he look bad? Because that's essentially what the lot of parents do. It's not about the wind, it's about the end of the developers. Um, there is a code of conduct, no coaching from the sideways, or training, or during that. That's what the coach does. The coach is coach. The players are both. Sneezy well. zone. Players, uh, apparently it's fashionable to have the shoelaces undone. Don't do it. Shoelaces must be tied. Shin pads must have at all times. Water bottles, you're in fact, it doesn't need a drink if the player is not trying. No hoodies. Yeah. Wear the club uniform. And I, I, I ask the parents, yeah, make sure your kids wear a uniform. I can't think of a reason why they shouldn't. Make sure they are, because it is only in respect of the club, the club sponsors, the coach, yourselves, the perception of, of what football looks like. If somebody rolls up in you know, jeans, for example, it doesn't look good. If the whole team rolls up in, in you know, club gear and lays their kid out straight and then is attentive to the coach, anybody, including yourselves, is going to be quite honourable about this one. Yes. Make them respect the club, because if you don't, sooner or later, they won't respect you. Whether it's happening now or when they're 18, <coughs> make them do it. It's not a compromise. It's just so simple. I, I, it's actually but make them respect the club, because otherwise, sooner or later, they're not going to respect you. Um, just so that you know, uh, we will have monthly stand-up coaches meetings, either that be a half hour or five minutes, otherwise we'll just get troublesome long term. But I want monthly meetings, they need to be short and concise. There's agendas to every meeting. Agenda to follow will be whatever we need to follow up. So that's the base, and the coaches will be asked. They've been given the national curriculum, see why this course is 18 month chapters. I've asked each coach to, to read a chapter for, for a team uh, coach's meeting. And whatever they think they need to adopt in the program, let's do it. Let's make this a great program, let's make this a great class. Again, you don't need to know this, this is what's happening in the background. There'll be team managers meetings so that we're all. all the, and we start to make the smoothest we can. Um, and then come the on, thank you, uh, with everybody, they are uh, monthly to pick it up. Uh, complaints, don't vent within the parental group. There will be a process, there will be a procedure. Bring it to your team manager if you feel comfortable. If you don't, let me know. Only we can solve the problems. The parental group can't, the coach can't.
that is essentially that is our learning environment, similar to um, a maths class. A maths class happens in a maths lab. The class class is out in a different type of room. The science in a different type of room. We don't go into that room and say to the teacher, oh, I don't like the way you're teaching. You know, do it this way, do it that way. Don't teach this topic. No, we, we don't do it because there's no expectation that we can do it. Yet, for some reason, there is an expectation for unqualified coaches coaching from the sidelines. It just adds to the fun. And the perception of the program just goes south. And if you're in doubt, if you think that yelling and screaming helps, we'll talk about that. Volunteers, uh, do it for the club, do it for your kids. Two, I don't know if you can do two reasons. I need to be referred. I'll struggle. Do it for your kids. Okay. And as a parent myself, I look at my kid when he's eight years old. Myself, that's me. I can see myself doing the same things when I was eight years old. I'm sure you guys, when you look at your kids, think, oh, that's just me. I do exactly the same. And if it doesn't get place up, it's okay because that's me. Yeah? Do it for your kids. I can't give you a better reason to do it. It is for the kids. Now, if you don't want to do it for the kids, then you think, oh, I'm paying my fees. My fees actually covers all that. It doesn't cover the stuff that's on the back. The things that fees covers is up on the screen now. I actually won't go into it now. Um, but, but that is what your fees covers. That stuff there is what every single club needs done every weekend. Saturday if you're in the East, Sunday if you're in the North and West. It needs to be done otherwise, uh, what I said to the coaches, no team manager. If I don't have a team manager for a team, you won't go into any cups, no tournaments, no gala days, gala days pre-season, because the expectation is two trainings and a game which will get you. Okay? No team manager, you get no cups, no tournaments, no gala days. No referee, no games. In your case, most of you guys, in your, most of you guys in your cases, no linesman, no game. Okay? Now, I'll uh, yourself, sorry. Thanks, John. Um, so, so my question is, you've got parents here who I'm going to suggest are already on board with a lot of the messages you're putting in. How do you get across to the big majority that's not here? Yeah. They're the ones you need to reach, they're the ones you need to get on board. Sure, sure. I agree. So the first screen was going to be on TV, but I know you're already here. Because we did. That is my number one challenge, my communication for them. This is my second of the third of three parent information sessions. My next one will be first week back in February. So that's for everybody to come late and miss the session or you know, wants to train and attend the session. That's my third one. So this message, and if they don't, they're not on that sheet, I'll call them. Okay, I mean, all of you probably got this message from me saying, you know, being here today, I actually go down and sit there and send out like 450 SMSs to 400 parents. I do that because I've got the SMSs. I'll do it. I'll call everybody and that's just the way I am. Um, <coughs> that's probably my, my biggest problem. And, and I think it's not that, I don't think they do it consciously, I think, you know, they just don't know. It's new, you know, they, they, I actually email a lot of people, and they say, did you get my email? I know, I didn't get an email. I don't actually read my email. Okay. And from that point, my SMS. Yeah, and then to my SMS, they actually call people, saying, you know, what's the So, look, that's my number one problem, but uh, I'm, 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 I had something else to say. Um, so everybody needs to volunteer. Um, they're the basics. Uh, th there are certain roles that the community does a great job. And you know, if you ask yourself to, 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 to paint for painting, you get a very bad painting. So I can't paint. Yeah? And I'm sure if I get some of these artists, like my daughter to paint for painting, she paint a really good one. Yeah? We're all good at different things. And the committee can only do so much. Yeah? There are certain things that, that you guys can do that we don't know about. Um, yet we'll ask collectively. There are things that need to be. Sorry, I digress. No team manager, no games. Um, sorry, I got mixed up with the slides, but I didn't read um, uh, The referees, I was going to say, sorry. Uh, no referee, no games. Okay, so no linesmen, no games. I had a question, well, what if you don't get a referee? As the example that I gave to the other group was an example that I had during the year. One of my best under 10 teams, gun team. Best kids. Uh, parents, 
everybody knows what's going on. They all get track, they all play football. It's all born here, uh, which makes a difference. Um, the, they say, oh no, no, we don't have a referee today. I said, just pull off the game. I said, what? Well, we're playing Sunday. Sunday's like, you know, I said, oh, I don't care who you're playing. If you don't have a referee, just pull off the game. I said, in five minutes, I have three minutes. Yeah, so I get who we're able to do it now, and I, I will get it. There's no referee, I'll get that. I'll be able to say, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's no referee. The script will help out. But I can, I can definitely tell who there is a referee. Would you be looking at doing some rep courses for the students? There will be a referee crash course where you, there will be teaching the basics. Uh, uh, for, so for this group, it's Lightman. Lightman Jews for 13s through to 20s. Uh, the referee is from the so there will be linesman uh, crash course. For the younger group, there will be uh, referee crash courses. We're not just looking for you in the deep end. Um, you'll you'll kind of rep some games here. So blowing the whistle for some people may be a big deal. Yeah, it's, not, it's not easy to go out in front of you know, people and start. Yeah, you do this. Not easy. You haven't done it before. So there will be a crash course for the lines people um, in this group, referees in the younger group. Video, so no referee, no games, no video camera um, uh, volunteer, no video analysis. It's obviously something to shoot the video camera. We don't get a volunteer, you just won't do that. It's the video analysis for the team just won't do it. So, so again, it's, it's for the benefit of the kids. This is an extra thing. Remember, it's two trainers in a game. That is what you get. If you want the extras, you need extra hands on the extras. Um, Goal next, again, it's not, it's not going to be the same person week in, week out. I, I say nothing, that same person, whoever it is, whoever it is, will do it week in, week out. But it's just not fair. Um, corner flags, that's all you've got to do. Here, what you do? Put the corner flags into the ground. Make sure that make sure you're the last game, take them out. So the roles are pretty simple. The marshal, all you've got to do is make sure that there's no parents on the pitch. It's not going to be out of because our parents understand that we're not supposed to be on the pitch. Essentially, you've got a green seat in the middle of the pitch. You'll be watching the field, pointing us to the outside. Nothing to do. We just need a marshal with the best. Council where Alex is sitting right now on that table, on that table, 
We had council, two people from council, uh, Football Victoria, Alex, myself, and one more person coming. Trying to get that on the cheap, more access here. Uh, the synthetic at the price of that uh, deal over there at a lower rate. Pitch D and E, I believe, I'm actually still not clear, but I believe it belongs to the school, be it the Department of Education, I'm thinking. The school, we need to speak to them, not the city, yes. Yeah. Yeah, so, 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 so I'm finding this stuff down as well. Uh, it belongs to the school, who we have we need to speak to, with Melbourne City, we might meet on Tuesday, to, to get more done with them in terms of uh, player development and progression. Um, but again, that, that, that progression will only be viable if we have the right training environment. So if, you know, if you've got kids here who are uh, eight years old trainers doing 12 sessions a week, it actually happens. I was actually shocked when I heard about the beginning of this year. Oh, I do nine sessions a week. I'm like, how is that possible? At, at the Lolly Club, I'm at, we went through 64 sessions. And I remember that when I first joined up, we got smashed by Wimsy Rangers. I was beautiful. Young Rangers. Couldn't sleep. How could we be that far behind? What do we do? Work out how many sessions we do, work out the whole year, three days, start listening to podcasts, we're going to man. Yeah. Not with Rangers, really great. So in Japan, we're so great. We can do 100 sessions a year. Last year at, at Green Gully, we got 167 sessions. My kid sometimes plays out 10 games a weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Some kids just, just and when I went over nine sessions a week, yeah, this is like nine, 10 year olds, I couldn't believe it. 